In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning, through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all those who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children not born of natural descent, nor of human decision, nor of husband's will, but born of God. The Word became flesh and He made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father full of grace and truth. No one has ever seen God but the one and only Son Himself who is God and is in the closest relationship with the Father has made Him known. Everyone longs for it. Some wait till their last breath. An orphan, his eyes will always be on the door. A helpless mother searches for some help. A youth who has lost a job is broken totally want someone to hear him, listen to him. The theme of today's reflection is visitation. Visitation brings grace, joy, happiness and peace. The entire world longs for it. Maybe we are from different religions caste and creed but what binds us is that special grace of visit visit can transform change and bring healing all 73 books of the sacred scripture 46 from the old and 27 from the new we hear, hear every page of it that God is in fallen love with humanity. God loves us. He spoke to Abraham, Isaac, Moses, prophets. His deep love for us is shown. God's unconditional care has been seen. And in the New Testament, we have Jesus, our master, teacher and healer. He tells Matthew, get up, leave everything. He visits Matthew. He goes to tax collectors and sinners house to visit. He experiences joy when Zacchaeus jumps down and he tells him, I want to dine with you. I want to visit your home. He heals Peter's mother-in-law in a house. And then we have Martha and Mary, where they were mourning. He visits. And visitation or to visit a family is part of our Christian tradition. It is part of our faith. It is our duty. It is our joy. It is our happiness. And every Christian is called to visit. And today we will hear from Luke's Gospel. Two women, two seen and two little children unseen. What was the joy and happiness in them? One is an elderly woman and another is a young woman. And both these pregnancies in the sacred scripture are so rich with divine acceptance. Both of them have accepted God's love in their life. Elizabeth was advanced in age. 
she could not for many years and the world called her barren. Zakaria and she always prayed for a child and God blessed them in their advanced age. And we have a young girl. She is blessed with a child. Mary runs to Elizabeth's house and Elizabeth is filled with joy and happiness and she says how blessed I am the mother of God has come to visit me and the babe in my womb leaped for joy. There is a difference in this visit. A total divineness, a total joy and happiness and above all for all of us to understand that God visited us in his own flesh into our lives. God comes, Emmanuel, God is with us and then there is a beautiful song of Mother Mary. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. God's eyes have fallen on me, a lowly handmaid. This visit has to be meditated because God is come in a human flesh. And Elizabeth recognizes the presence of God. And we are called to pay visit in this troubled time of COVID-19. As Mother Mary did not get afraid of the world, she ran because there was a need she ran with love. She ran with Jesus to be part of Elizabeth's life. John Paul II, Saint John Paul II, who is known as the patron saint of the youth, and his famous quote, Do not be afraid in whatever circumstances you live in, God is with you. Do not be afraid. And in the, in the year 1983, this Pope of the youth went to a jail where that young boy of different faith, Ali, had shot him. And there our Pope goes and visits him. There's a transformation that surrounded that chain. Visits brings joy, happiness and healing. Pope Francis 2019 visited Abu Dhabi and there he made Grand Imam and there both of them spoke something differently. We need to forget and visit one another again. Fatere Tutti encyclical of Pope Francis was published on the feast of Saint Francis of Assisi on 3rd of October 2020. In that, Pope Francis said, I am inspired by Grand Imam of Abu Dhabi. He quotes his name. And therefore, visitation can change and transform our lives. In the midst of COVID-19, we all of us were struck down we could not attend the funeral. Neither we can go and pay a visit who is sick. 
neither attend someone's birthday, anniversaries, or communion or confirmation celebration. The entire world is stand still. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us understand the role of Mother Mary. Let us understand how powerful visitation can be. We as youth can transform so many lives through social media, through WhatsApp, through website, through electronic gadgets. We can visit so many broken hearted. We can pass on positive messages. We can give someone hope who has lost job, who has difficulty in his relationship. We can visit them. And as a young people, we have to transform our lives. We need to understand Christianity is not only reading the sacred scripture. Great sacred scripture is the foundation of our ministry. Sacred scripture will tell us, will invite us to move ahead and to visit people. The world does not need money. The world does not need resources. The world need in my troubled time, in my difficult time, in my helpless time, did anyone visit me? And we know there are so many broken hearted. May this Christmas of ours be not be an ordinary Christmas. We have to journey with Mary. Mary knew that Elizabeth is going through a crisis. The world may not understand the divine hand of God on Elizabeth, but she runs to support her. And a mother who is pregnant will know exactly what this meeting is about. To give her hope, to give her courage, to give us strength. And so this Christmas, we need to ask God's grace. As Mother Mary understood the need to visit Elizabeth, you and I also can change so many people's life. Only a visit, an orphan at the door, his eyes will be happy. A widow in an in a widow home is longing for Christmas wishes. A child on a street requires something. In our homes, our parents are longing for our visits. We might visit the whole world through internet, but we might forget. To visit our parents in our home. We might forget to visit our brother in my home. I might forget to visit my sister. We might be connected to global media. But we might forget to connect with our own family members. So let us rejoice the song of Mary. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. As Mother Mary sings so beautifully, you and I also can sing when we go and visit, when we go and listen to our parents, when we go and listen to our sibling. The joy is waiting. Open up your Christmas gift and experience the joy of the visit. God bless you and wish you all a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. God bless.